Okay. We now welcome on to discuss the machine, new Machine Gun Kelly album, Mainstream Sellout, Bobby Olivier. He is a music writer and food arts editor for NJ.com and the Star Ledger, as well as contributing writer to Billboard and Spin. Bobby, the simulation just went bad, but you're the best we ever had. Are you ready to talk some MGK? Yeah, uh, I'm ready to fall in love with an emo girl and uh, leave the scene because I ruined it and all the other <laughs> shit that he says. Um, yeah, that, well, thanks for having me, guys. Cool, cool to be here uh, on a Friday, drinking some beer, talking some pop punk. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that a lot of the sort of novelty of the first album was the fact that he was sort of this outsider from hip hop world coming in and trying to do pop punk stuff. And it was like, oh, lo look at this, you know, rapper from Cleveland who was already like an outsider in his own genre trying to do pop punk and play a pink guitar. Um, that's cool. And these songs are fun and Travis Barker's fun and whatever, that's fine. And now, you know, flash forward two years and he is significantly more famous, uh, you know, engaged to Megan Fox. He's created a million memes around the two of them uh, and is playing crowds, you know, three, four times the size that he was before, just announced a big summer arena amphitheater tour. So um, yeah, I think that mainstream sellout is, hits a little bit uh, harder now. And, and the the, uh, the title track being mainstream sellout um, and he, uh, the chorus say, saying something like, like hit him mocking the people saying, get out of our scene, you ruined it. Where, where it's like, people are like, no, no, seriously, dude, like, please. Yeah. He's, he's trying to, to eight miles is, is what he's yeah. doing. <laughs> yeah. Good way to put it. <laughs> so I just want to say at the top, I think Travis Barker did another good job here. So no complaints about him. Like the drums on the opening track are just awesome. And it just reminds you of like a Blink song. But overall, it was kind of, it was like kind of like what you treated up before, Bobby. It was like kind of more of the same. Only now it's maybe like a little more stale because it's like not as fresh or I remember like when Tickets to My Downfall first came out, it was like such like a breath of fresh air and it was like kind of stirred up that that uh, t intoxicating drug, which is nostalgia. Yeah. And this one was kind of just more of that, but maybe not as good. But it was you made a great point with the features too. Like those are kind of the best parts of the record and it's a Machine Gun Kelly record, but like Willow and like Bring Me the Horizon, like kind of stole the show away from them. Yeah, I, I would... Uh... I would agree. And I think that, yeah. And listening to the, cause I listened to that emo girl song when it first came out and I listened to like once and I was like, okay, probably avoiding this now. And uh, even though it, it is kind of catchy, but listening back the the Willow verse actually is pretty good. Um, and that the new song uh, makeup sex with black bear is pretty good. And then I'll, Ollie Sykes, I think, but it's funny. You can re once you get uh, Machine Gun Kelly right next to Ollie Sykes of Bring Me the Horizon on the same song, and you know, Ollie Sykes is like a very has a great range, singing, screaming, like getting. And Machine Gun Kelly has like very little vocal range. Yeah, I, I think my favorite parts of this album were everything except Machine Gun Kelly, which yeah. it. I know it's like almost a cliche for like our like people our age and in the scene to like hate on him, but like it just really wasn't doing it for me. And I thought tickets to my downfall was a, was a good album. It was, it was fun. It was enjoyable, but this one's just lacking like emotion. I, I don't know like exactly what it is, but I'm just not like, I wasn't really feeling it. And again, I'm not, I like uh, MGK for the most part. I think, I think what like his style is pretty cool. And again, I, I like that last album too, but I, I, and I don't, I wouldn't say that he's out of ideas. I just think he's out of like original ideas. And I think that he's really sort of just let Travis Barker sort of do the, the heavy lifting on this. And Brett, I agree that the drums, I think, sound great. I think the production's great. Um, I think there's some songs that'll play well when it comes to Camden, New Jersey, um, which I'm sure he'll call Philadelphia uh, later, later this year. Uh, I think he's just sort of t taken, taken this sort of pop punk thing as far as he can go. And I think the next album, which if he, if he goes back to hip hop, then it'll be anticipated as always return to hip hop and yeah i i thought on this album like he he did a little bit of everything but he didn't um like excel at any one thing like the rapping i kind of liked and would have liked more or i would have liked him to go in harder on the pop punk side and it all just kind of stayed like at a safe like middle ground for for most of the album yeah yeah i completely agree 
think with like some of the features too like if he did want this album like lean more into the pop funk I would have kind of liked to see some more pop punk artists on it with him I feel like that was kind of a missed opportunity especially with the whole Travis Barker connection like Bring Me the Horizon isn't really pop punk but like on the last album like the Forget Me Forget Me Too with Halsey like that song was unbelievable and like that left people wanting like a Halsey, like a Halsey pop punk album but like this album I feel like really didn't have that other than like Willow who's like kind of the closest thing to pop punk but yeah. I know people like to make arguments about her as well but that's another thing I felt that was lacking. Yeah, and I mean, for all of Travis Barker's connections, I mean, they couldn't get one pop punk dude. Like, they, they couldn't get someone from, like, Goldfinger or uh, anybody else that he's worked with. I mean, he's worked with pretty much everybody. 